At the beginning of July, the VataLeaks II process was closed, during which three Vatican dependents and two journalists were tried. The only one who went to jail was the Spanish priest. In relation to the imputato Angel Lucio Vallejo Balda, condanna l'imputato la pena di 18 mesi di reclusione. In July, the Pope appointed new Vatican spokespersons, American Greg Burke and a Spanish woman, Paloma Garcia Ovejero. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of July, the Pope traveled to Poland to participate in World Youth Day. The first great visit of the trip to Poland was to Czestochowa, the spiritual heart of Poland. The Pope movingly prayed before the Black Madonna, one of John Paul II's most beloved devotions. The Mass began with a scare, a slight stumble that had no further consequences. That is why before the homily began, the crowd greeted him with this applause. Perhaps the most intense moment of his trip to Poland was in the Auschwitz extermination camp. He visited it alone and in silence because there are no words to describe one of the greatest horrors in history. He greeted ten survivors of the Holocaust one by one in front of the death wall where thousands of people were shot. At Birkenau, Psalm 130 was played, which is the bitter song of a desperate person who calls for God's help from the depths. Meanwhile, the Pope walked before the memorial for people who died in concentration camps during World War II. The most important moment at World Youth Day was this prayer vigil at dusk on a field near Krakow, with space for more than one million young people. Pope Francis entered through this symbolic holy door, hand in hand with young people from around the world. In an energetic speech, he invited them not to be drowsy young people and asked them not to settle for a life lived as couch potatoes. Cari giovani, non siamo venuto al mon venuti al mondo per vegetare, per passarcela comodamente, per fare della vita un divano che ci addormenti. Al contrario, siamo venuti per un'altra cosa, per lasciare un'impronta. È molto triste passare nella vita senza lasciare un'impronta. Egli vuole le tue mani per continuare a costruire il mondo di oggi vuole costruirlo con te e tu cosa rispondi? cosa rispondi tu? sì o no? Then came the long-awaited moment of Eucharistic adoration. More than one and a half million young people from Campus Misericordiae, or the Field of Mercy, joined the Pope in silent prayer. The Pope left for the night, but the youth all spent the night there. The next morning they welcomed him once again when he arrived to celebrate a Mass just for them. Non lasciatevi anestetizzare l'anima, ma puntate al traguardo dell'amore bello che richiede anche la rinuncia e un no forte al doping del successo ad ogni costo e alla droga del pensare solo a sé e ai propri comodi. Before saying goodbye, Pope Francis called them together again for the next World Youth Day. Sarà nel 2019 a Panama. While there is still a lot of time left, the Pope has already started preparing. For now, he has the Panamanian national team shirt and the hat the peasants of the country wear, which was delivered to him on the plane.